This couple are playing dots, but the loser will be sent down to hell. And I do mean the place of eternal suffering and anguish. The rules are simple. The one with the most points when all 14 darts are thrown wins. And the players are Jim and Lara, a newly wed and happy couple. And it all started when these two walked into a fancy lounge with no one except the bartender, who welcomes them and wonders how they got to his place, to which the pair had absolutely no clue. The last memory they both had was of spending their honeymoon together. But before they could start remembering anything, Deckham, who is the bartender, interrupts them and tells them that they're gonna play a game, in which their lives will be at stake. Otherwise, they won't be able to leave. And as any self-respecting human being would react to a twist like this, they told him to fuck off and started searching for an exit themselves. But they couldn't find any. So they go back and try to threaten Deckham. Excuse me? <gasps> With their trousers about to be spoiled thinking that they're gonna get killed, both Jim and Lara chose to go along and play. Unsurprisingly, however, this wasn't going to be a normal game of darts. The drawing on the board that gets hit will cause the other player's corresponding body part to get stabbed. But Jimmy here is a surgeon and he can tell they haven't been under any knife. So how are they exactly connected to this board? And more importantly, why is Deckham doing this? Well, there are four misdirections that are woven into this one scene. First off, Deckham kept quiet while showing the hidden room because what's inside are in fact not bodies, but wooden dolls that he made. The second lie was that he never actually said that he will kill anybody. Thirdly, it's never stated that the loser will get killed. That's just the conclusion the couple got from what Deckham said, which is all intentional. From the moment they stepped into his bar, Deckham was using everything at his disposal to manipulate them into playing, to see with his own eyes who these people actually are. Bringing out the worst out of those he set his eyes on is what he does, and the games are the vehicles for achieving exactly that. Air hockey, bowling, street fighter and many more exist and they have the same effect, of peeling away the layers of the people playing. Darts was just what Lara and Jim's luck got them, and it broke both of them mentally. As the game continued, they could see more of what was hidden deep down. All the lies, the insecurity, and betrayal. Until eventually their true essence was on full display and the game ended. That's when Jim and Lara realized the fourth lie. That the winner will be able to return home. Back to their lives. But that's never stated. Of course it isn't. Because it's impossible. Everyone that visits the Queen Deckham, everybody that ever meets Deckham himself, are all already dead. This is the tribunal of the soul, a trial to decide who is sent to heaven and who gets eternally damned. And this lanky bartender here is the judge of it all. To see how much the values of a person stays unwavering when their survival instinct kicks in. That's what Death Parade is all about. And that's how the judgement for Jim and Laura took place. And as promised, one of them did end up in hell. The loser and how it all went down? I want you to see it for yourself and be the judge. 
made by the guys who came up with all of these hits? This psychological mystery will have you binging all 12 episodes in one sitting. Check it out, and until next time, stay safe.